Hello everyone, welcome to Civil Engineering and Stuff. And in today's video lecture, we are going to discuss about road markings. So, road markings is another technique for efficient traffic management. And we have discussed in the previous lecture regarding the traffic management, like uh, we have discussed about how a two way two lane road have uh, the concrete points. We discussed about the concrete points in uh, various uh, intersections, uncontrolled intersections, and how these concrete points are reduced by converting a two way two lane road into simply a one way road. And uh, there we discussed that uh, though it is a very economical process, but it is not efficient. And we have discussed about this in detail in the conflict point uh, when we are discussing about the conflict point. So, uh, there are certain techniques by which the uh, traffic is managed while ensuring a economy and efficiency parameters. And we have discussed about the traffic signs in, uh, in this process that how by installing proper traffic signs, we ensure a better traffic management strategy. And there we discuss about the variety of uh, traffic signs and their usage and where they are installed and other related specifications. Right. So, all this we have discussed before. Uh, so, if you haven't watched those videos, you can watch the, watch the videos by going into the uh, traffic engineering playlist. So, in today's uh, lecture, continuing uh, from there, we are going to discuss about road marking. Before we start, uh, just a bit of request that uh, around 90% of the people who are watching the video are not subscribing to the uh, channel. So, uh, it's a humble request. Like if you, if this uh, videos are useful to you, if you find this channel useful to you, do consider subscribing to the channel. It boosts, it boosts our morale and like it helps us to uh, bring more and more videos uh, regarding this, uh, like regarding this civil engineering, right? So, just a humble request, if you find this channel useful, do subscribe to the channel. Okay. All right. So, let's move on to uh, this uh, road marking topic. So, road markings, as we, as we know, are a means of controlling and guiding the traffic and it supplements the road signal message. And it aims to convey the message without any distraction, right? So, uh, along with the traffic uh, signals, uh, the road markings are put. So, as to whatever the uh, message that uh, our traffic engineer wants to convey, it is conveyed to the uh, traveler in a very easy and in a very efficient way. And it does, right? Road marking does serve its purpose. But there is certain limitations with the road marking. The, uh, uh, the main limitation is the visibility, especially in the night. And road markings require frequent renewal. Because of constant movement of the traffic over the uh, these payment markings, the uh, markings get diminished a bit, right? So they require uh, proper maintenance in a frequent time interval. So uh, we have seen variety of road markings uh, when we move on the road, right? We see like there are white color solid lines, right? These are white color solid lines. We see broken lines. These broken lines uh, uh, are uh, either they are one or there are many broken lines on the road. We have solid lines either at the edge of the road or at the center of the road. And likewise, uh, we have uh, many times we see white lines at the edge of the road and then we have broken line, uh, broken yellow line at the edge of the road. So, there are, uh, there are um, variety of uh, like pavement markings and their placement varies from situation to situation. So, that is what we are going to discuss in this video. We are going to learn about the the provisions uh, the type of road marking and the provisions that are used for road marking so <clears throat> there are certain uh, certain principles regarding the uh, payment marking or the longitudinal payment marking so there are a variety of types the first one is the solid line the first one is the called as the solid solid lines and uh, these are what we call as the solid line these are what we call as the solid lines and these are restrictive in nature and uh, it is an offense to cross. Right? Soil line means that, that you are not allowed to cross these lines. While we have broken lines, we have broken lines which are used, which are used uh, to again uh, have some form of restrictions. But you are allowed to cross, right? You are allowed to cross, and it is just to, uh, done to provide uh, a demarcation between different uh, type of lanes, right? So if you see here, here uh, we have 
these local lines so these demarks the number of lanes in in certain way of traffic right so you can maneuver from here to here you can maneuver from here to here while uh, while in this picture here these uh, the uh, center line this center line demarks the different ways in which the traffic is moving so we have traffic moving from here to here and moving from here uh, from this direction to this direction right so in between uh, the different direction of movement of traffic you can maneuver right but you cannot you cannot change the uh, you cannot change the direction of movement right so you cannot move from here to here right so this is what uh, the solid and uh, broken line means solid lines are totally restrictive in nature and they do not like if you cross this line it means it's an offense while in broken lines you are allowed to cross then uh, these uh, there is a combination of solid lines and broken lines and uh, uh, like wherever there is solid lines uh, you are not allowed to cross while wherever there is broken line you are allowed to cross and to indicate severity of uh, of the uh, movement uh, or to uh, to uh, to uh, give weightage towards the severity of movement or restrictiveness of movement we use uh, we use double line right so wherever there will be double line uh, it's a message that you should not in any condition uh, like uh, like uh, uh, like uh, violate these type of uh, lines so it's a very sensitive uh, or sensitive zone in the road section is a accidental hotspot so you should not uh, violate uh, this line you should be very careful right so we have solid lines broken lines we have combination of solid line and broken line and we have double line now what are the materials of which the uh, uh, these markings are made of these are made up of thermoplastic material and are also made up of retro uh, uh, retro reflective materials which are uh, which contains glass beads which Uh, reflect certain uh, certain light, uh, especially in the uh, in the night cases, right? So these are the materials of which the uh, the pavement markings are made up. Then uh, let's talk about the uh, different colors of pavement markings. So white, most common we have seen. We have also seen yellow. Then there are alternate black and white. Then we have green and we have red and purple. So you, the white. is used in all the scenarios right it is used in all the carriage way uh, right except when we want to show passing restrictions for passing restrictions we go for yellow yellow line or yellow colored pavement markings so yellow colored pavement markings are used to show pavement uh, uh, this passing restrictions as well as if we want to emphasize on the on the like uh, severity of the pavement markings then also uh, we go for the yellow line so in parking restrictions in barriers right in such scenarios uh, we go for yellow then we have alternate black and white and alternate black and white are used to denote curbs and other road markings so if you see here you you see alternate black and white right you see alternate black and white this is uh, the curb of the road so here uh, alternate black and white marking is used then we have green marking uh which are used for denoting the the cycle lane no motorist lane and in case we have uh, we have like hazardous zone in in between the section where where we we see multiple traffic uh, coming and going on the same spot then uh, that area is marked with red or purple which uh, which which uh, shows the hazardous location okay so we have like the white pavement marking used normally then we have yellow to show uh, or emphasize the further restrictions on the road and uh, then we have uh, cycle lane that are marked with green and in case of multiple uh, uh, like cross crossover movement over the road section these sections are marked with red colored pavement marking okay so uh, <clears throat> the center lines there are certain specifications for these uh, center lines and we have discussed the center lines are used to uh, denote the center of the carriage way right it 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 bifurcates the opposite uh, direction movement of the traffic so uh, these uh, center lines uh, depends depending upon area of location uh, for rural roads the segment and gap doubles the length from that of urban location and the length and gap shortens when we approach the intersection all right so we have these uh, 
these broken lines and you can see that in broken lines uh, the uh, the width is 10 cm thick line and the length of this broken line is 3 meters the gap may vary from 6 to 3 meters then we have no overtaking zone markings and these are provided on the curve it can be provided on the summit curve it is, it is provided on the horizontal curve and like this and uh, these non overtaking markings are are identified by the combination of uh, double lines uh, with uh, with the left side being a solid barrier while the right side have broken line right and when both are solid this means that they are no overtaking so we see here like if you see here that here uh, the left side is made as the solid line while the right is made dotted line so what does this indicate that if the vehicle is moving in this lane he uh, this vehicle is not allowed to maneuver uh, from from this side of the lane to this side uh, of the lane so he, this uh, is not allowed while the vehicle that is moving on the right side of this uh, carriageway he is allowed to maneuver and move in this certain direction in case uh, in 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 case in future if uh, like in the uh, extended section of the road if both are solid lines this means neither the vehicle traveling from this side is allowed to move neither the vehicle from this side is allowed to move right another example of, of a combination of uh, so, uh, solid line and broken line indicating no overtaking sides of the or no overtaking zone of the road again example if you see along the curve if you move along the curve so if you see we have dotted lines from here as we uh, go into the uh, section of the transition curve, uh, the line gets solid. The line gets solid here. So from uh, from this side of the road, you can just maneuver uh, to this side of the road. Uh, but uh, from here, you have to you are restricted not to change the lane, right? And then you are allowed to change. And, and same is going from here to here. All right, you can see in this section we have dotted line then we have solid line and dotted line and then we have both solid line okay so this is the sensitive zone here change of lane is allowed. all right <clears throat> this uh, depends upon uh, like the length depends upon the uh, 85th percentile speed we have discussed about is 85th percentile speed you can uh, watch the video for that information and based upon the uh, design uh, design 85th percentile speed uh, this warning side distance and minimum distance taken then we have payment edge line and the payment edge line indicates the edge of carriage in case there is no curve so uh, uh, we have already seen a video uh, image where the uh, the road section that has curve is uh, marked with alternate black and white all right so in case there is no curve in the road section then we use edge line and these are the continuous lines placed about 15 centimeters from the edge and the width is 15 to 20 centimeters these are what we call as the edge line you can see here there is no curve here so here the edge lines are marked combining the all the three you can observe that this is a center line which demarks the uh, carriageway into half and bifurcates the uh, opposite direction movement of the traffic we have lane line we have lane line and then we have the edge line Now, uh, these uh, payment markings are also used to uh, indicate the reduction in the carriageway width. So, you must have observed, right? So, uh, when we are moving in the road section, uh, sometimes these restrictive type of markings are there, which indicates uh, not, to, uh, not to move in this side of the road, right? In this part of the road, just to uh, mark as a restrictive section of the road these are used in case like let's say these are, this is a two lane road you can see here from two lane road now the road is being tapered and is converted into 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 one lane likewise we have one lane and now the, it it diverges into two lane road so these transitions are uh, uh, when uh, these kind of hash markings are used the, these are called as the width reduction transition marking so these are uh, these are used in combination of carriageway marking and road signs. And if one or more lane are discontinued, center line and the lane line should be merged safely. Just for safe merging, these are used. 
Now this uh, taper, tapering rate again depends upon the 85th percentile speed or the design speed of the road and based upon that the rate of tapering is taken into account. <coughs> Then we have obstruction approach marking. So uh, you must have observed we have a certain uh, road marking which shows the obstruction, right? Uh, like it's a psychological uh, message that this section of the road is restrictive, right? You are not allowed to move in this side of the road. This is a psychological uh, implication. You you can move over the road, right? And in case if the traffic is high or let's say some vehicle broke down, you are allowed to move on the road. So this part of the road is available only in case of emergency. Right, so just to give a psychological uh, barrier regarding not to move in this section of road, so as so that the variety of vehicles that are moving can easily change their lanes from different direction. They can merge safely, they can diverge safely, right? Uh, they so to do that safely, we use these obstructions markings and uh, diagonals, uh, diagonals and chevrons are used for this. And the length is equals to 0.63 SW for the design speed greater than 60 km per hour, where S is the 85th percentile speed, S is the 85th percentile speed, and W is the off the, off the distance in meter. In case the speed is less than 60 km per hour, then uh, the formula will be W S square by 150. Uh, the minimum length is uh, 30 meter in urban area and 60 meter in rural area. This uh, width is 600 mm and the, uh, the angle uh, of these chevrons is 45 degrees. Right, the angle is 45 degrees. Uh, the next kind of payment marking is the stop line. And uh, stop lines are like uh, used to uh, indicate uh, the mandatory stop sign in, in the road section. These are uh, complemented with the uh, stop sign. Right? The stop payment markings are complemented with the stop sign. We have discussed about the stop sign in the previous video. So uh, the idea is that the vehicle should mandatorily stop here before uh, it merges with the ongoing traffic. The width of the uh, payment marking for urban and suburban area is 20 centimeters and rural area is 30 centimeters located to 3 meters and advanced and parallel to the nearest pedestrian crossing. Then we have uh, giveaway payment markings, and giveaway payment markings are uh, are identified by two broken lines, right? These are identified by two broken lines. So you can see stop signs are and uh, stop payment markings are identified by uh, two solid lines, while giveaway payment markings are identified by dotted lines. And uh, both the giveaway as well as the stop payment markings are complemented with the Give, uh, give way and stop sign respectively. So uh, these signs are, uh, these traffic markings are used in case we want to further emphasize like uh, stop payment marking when you want vehicles to stop and give way payment marking, marking are used when we want vehicles to give, uh, give way to other vehicles. So if you observe here, there is, uh, there is some written message also uh, there on the road. So these are what we call as the world message as well as there are some directional arrows that are used to give the direction to the moving vehicles. So these are uh, these are another way of uh, payment markings to give an advanced guide to the driver and these type of payment markings should be elongated in direction of traffic flow. Again, the size depends upon the speed, right? We have specifications that are, that are there like what should be length, what should be width, depending upon the design speed, right? So we have these arrows and everything uh, just to give an advanced guidance to the uh, vehicles that are moving on the road. The type we have mandatory, we have deflection, and we have bifurcation. So these mandatory turn arrows are uh, compulsory to follow. Deflection diverges the vehicle, bifurcate, uh, bifurcates the vehicles into different uh, directions. World messages are. Uh, like right turn only, exit only should be supplemented by the directional arrows. And these stop uh, marking, uh, these world message, stop world message should be, should not be painted unless all vehicles have to stop. All right. So this is another section of the, of the rotary where we can see that uh, we have variety of world messages written. We have uh, solid center line. We have 
edge line we have yellow lines uh, emphasizing on the further restrictions we have other restrictive payment marking from the road right so in combinations of all these things uh, is what uh, how the road marking serve their purpose efficiently so this, at the end this is a picture uh, of our road section and i want you to just look into it and see uh, what are the uh, uh, what improvement in the payment marking can be done in this type of in this picture right just look at it in terms of traffic signs and in terms of uh, pay, payment marking what things are correct and what improvement can be done uh, write your uh, answers in the comment section and then we'll discuss okay so this was all about uh, the uh, payment markings i hope the video was useful to you and if so do like the video subscribe to the channel for uh, more videos like this and press the bell icon for regular notification uh, thank you for uh, watching the video have a nice day